ORU falls to Florida on Sunday night, 5-4, to four, and they really felt like they had the game won at various points. They out-hit Florida, they left 13 men on base, but the difference in this one was the long ball. Florida, three home runs, and that powered them, literally and figuratively, to the win. But ORU now has their backs against the wall. They'll need to win three games straight to have a chance at winning the national title, but having their backs against the wall is a situation they're quite familiar with. So I think we want to win every game that we come out here and play. Um, but, you know, our, our guys are smart. They know what's going on. So and we've been in this situation before. Um, you know, we, we got our backs against the wall last week in Eugene. So and we came out and won two games in a row. So why can't we win three games in a row? Honestly, right now I'm ready to go for the next game. Like if you dwell on what happens in the past, you're just going to repeat it. So uh, I, at this point, I don't care about that game anymore. I'm ready for the next one, and that's that's it. I think that's how this entire team feels. Tonight, we just didn't get it done. It'd be nice to actually not have our backs against the wall a couple of these games, but uh, we'll turn it around. We'll be all right. It's long from over. we got a lot of baseball left to play, so our focus now goes to the workout tomorrow, how to find a way to get a little sharper uh, and get ready to go for Tuesday. The Golden Eagles will have a rematch against the Horn Frogs Tuesday at 1 p.m. playing for their championship lives. If they're able to come out with that win, they'll then need to beat Florida twice in a row in order to have a chance to play in the College World Series final. For now, reporting from Omaha, I'm Darren Wallace for Midco Sports.